Okay, right then. Welcome to our training session, everybody. So what I want you to do, first of all, is if you've got a skipping rope, grab it. If you haven't got a skipping rope, don't worry. We're just going to do some light jogging on the spot. Let me just grab a rope. Okay, so have you all got your ropes? I'll assume by your silence that you have. We're going to get five minutes on the timer. So we're going to skip for five minutes. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So, if you are new to skipping, all I'm going to get you to do is just pass the rope under the feet and just bounce on two feet like this look. Just enough to get the rope underneath your feet. If you don't have a skipping rope, then we're just going to pretend to skip. So you're just going to hold your hands in the same position as you would if you had a rope and we're just going to bounce from foot or with both feet in this way here. If you want to get a bit fancy with it, we can start doing heel and toe skipping lock. This is going to help with your coordination. So touch your heel and toe alternately this way. I'm just going to get my rope again. <clears throat> How's your day going so far? Hope you're having a good one. Okay, so, as you start to feel your heart rate increasing and your breathing getting slightly faster, we can start to pick the pace of the skipping up. So, all I need to do for that is just spin the rope a little bit quicker. Just make sure I'm using my body all together so that the rope doesn't get caught. By the way, you'll notice I've got my hoodie on. This is to help me with the warm up. So it's important that you warm up properly. And one of the ways I find helps me is to keep my hoodie on. And when I start to get really warm, I take it off. I've also got socks on. I'm training on mats, so I don't wear shoes. But if I catch my toes with the rope, then it's a bit, it's a bit sore. So socks help, just to give you a little bit of cushion in, rather than when that happens. Okay, good. So now I just want you to start thinking about putting the jogging up here. Going to jog with it. If you don't have a rope, you can just jog. Keep going with the rope. Just jog it out this way. And as you jog, pump the arms and try and get those knees up nice and high. I'm just going to get the rope back. Keep going, everyone. Okay. We've got two minutes. Two minutes left. So if you haven't stopped yet, don't stop now. And as you skip, remember big deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, suck all that oxygen into your lungs because it's the oxygen that pumps through the bloodstream that helps to feed those muscles. Stop to getting tired as quickly. So when you're exercising, Taking big, deep breaths is really important. Okay, good. So you should all start feeling a lot warmer now. So the session today is a good one. It's going to push you, make you sweat. Go with the skipping if you're skipping. If you do the crossovers, do the crossovers. I can't. It's a lot easier to do a crossover without the rope here this way. <laughs> so you can always practice them. Okay, good. If you're still skipping, we've got 40 seconds. So 40 seconds. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you to sprint for the last 10 seconds. So just start picking up to a light jog. I'll give you the time, we've got 20 seconds left. So keep jogging or keep skipping or pretend skipping. 15 seconds, so I'm gonna give you a countdown for 10 seconds. Are you ready? Let's go for 10, nine to sprint, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and tie. Okay, good. Just drop your ropes as you do. If you need a drink of water, grab one quickly. Otherwise, we're gonna circle the arms. Arms forwards, 10 times. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're gonna take them backwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From that position, we're gonna take one arm forwards 10 times. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other hand, forwards, 10 times. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and backwards. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, this time we're gonna take the arms out, keeping them parallel to the floor, and across the body, so look, I cross over the top, open, underneath, open. So 10 times, so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, this time, take your hand, lightly apply pressure to the side of the head, so we're not gonna pull with this, it's almost more like I lean, and just put my hand on my head and just use the weight of the hand to help. And we're just gonna hold it for five seconds, and four, and three, and two, and one. Relax, lean, rest, 10 seconds, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, from this position, chin on your chest, hands on the back of the head, Again, don't force anything, just relax into the stretch. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then head back, keep your mouth open for this one, and just fingertip pressure here, look. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one, good, interlock your fingers. 10 side twists, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and 10. Hands on your hips, and rotations clockwise, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then the other way, anti-clockwise. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, from that position, ankles, point your foot to the floor and circle. 10 times, if you find balance a challenge with this one, then just grab hold of something. But ideally, try and work your balance with it. It's a good habit to get into. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Now take it the other way. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other leg, so point your toes first, get your balance, and 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Okay, guys, good. Grab a drink of water if you've got your water handy towel. At this point, I'm going to take off my hoodie and my socks. So, quick drink of water. Okay, good, right then, back out for me. In fact, just move your ropes if the ropes are on the floor. You don't want to trip over them. Okay, good, so from this point, we're gonna do 30 seconds of butt kick. So I'll give you the time. So it looks like this, look, hands here. If you've done it before, if you already know what to do, start going while I talk. But here's your challenge. If you wanna make it harder, from the point that I say go, try and get 50 in before 30 seconds. So, one, two, so left, right counts as one, and I'll give you the time. If I aim for 50, I'm not going to be able to talk, so I'm going to just go through the motions of it. So, you ready? If you're still going, and go. So, try and get 50 in as fast as you can. I'll give you the time as we go, that's five seconds. <clears throat> Big deep breath, remember, that's 10 seconds. So, left, right counts as one. 15 seconds, that's 10 seconds, and keep going, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, good, if you did 50 within 30 seconds, that's awesome, this time I'm going to straight into high knees, I'm going to pump the knees this way, I'm going to go sideways, so you can see, we're going to get the knees up high, pump the arms at the same time, I'm leaning in to the run. Don't lean back. It uses the back. Use the abs. And imagine you're sprinting down a running track. If you want to try the 50 again, this will be easier. I'll give you the time. You ready? Let's go. That's five seconds gone. Ten seconds gone. 15 seconds left. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Now, star jumps. Again, if you're up for the challenge, try and get 50 in within 30 seconds, but you need to be super fast. Star jumps, look. start here. Touch, slap, touch, slap. So every time you do the star jump, you touch your fingers above your head. If you want to start the 50 challenge, get ready. Three, two, one, go. So I get 50 in before 30 seconds. I'll give you the times. That's 10 seconds gone. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 4, 3, 2, 1, good, catch your breath, one last thing to do before we get some water, don't leave the floor, so we're going to do a knee, a knee bounce exercise, so my knee is going to bounce up to my shoulder whilst I hop off this back leg, it's a good coordination drill as well, so watch how it works, so this leg I'm going to try and literally hit my shoulder with my thigh, this way. So if you can see that, and watch my back foot. I'm bouncing and using coordination. If I turn sideways, so you can see how my knee hits my shoulder. Ten times. Off your left side, off you go. One, three, four, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Change the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This time I'm going to open up the hips. I'm going to go to the side of the body. So, hand comes across the shoulder, and it looks like this. Can you see the difference? Let's do it together. Ten times. Off you go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guys, good. That's the warm up. Give yourself a quick drink of water. 30 seconds. Well done, everyone. Okay, so as in class, we need to do some stretching. We're going to be a little bit more specific about the stretching because we've got a little bit more time today. So, what I want you to do first of all is put your feet together and just drop. This is a warm up stretch. So, no sudden movements, no bouncing. Legs stay straight, everything relaxed. Look. So, I go down and I hold it. And I hold it as low as I can for 10 more seconds. Once you start to feel the legs relax, we can go deeper. I'm going to stand sideways so you see. So from here, look, I touch my toes, my muscles start to relax, I try and touch the floor. As I start to feel those muscles relax further, I try and get my fingertips on the floor, but we must constantly push ourselves when we stretch. From that position, hands look, hands flat on the floor, bring them in close to the feet, and relax the head and the neck and the shoulders, no bounces. You'll see I didn't bounce once. So I just hold that stretch and let gravity take care of everything. From that position, we're gonna stay low, grab our ankles, look at our knees, and we're gonna pull down five times. This is how we're gonna do it. So pull down for one and hold it. So do it with me and relax. Good, take a big breath. And this time, when we pull down a second time, we're going to try and pull a little bit further. Don't go for the same point, go further. So pull down for two, keep going, keep going, and relax. Good. Third set, try and get a little bit further. So pull down for three, and keep going, keep going, keep going, and relax. Fourth one, even further. So four. Let's go, stretch, and go, and go, and relax. Last one, fifth one, maximum effort. Try and get as close to your legs as you can, and pull, and hold it, hold it, hold it, and relax. Stay in that position. See if that's helped with your flexibility alert. Try and get your hands down even further. From that position, do not move. I'm just gonna change position so you can see. So from here, we bend our legs. So our elbows are inside our knees. I'm gonna stick my left leg out to the side. So you might be looking at me in the opposite direction on the camera. So from this position, I'm gonna push my bent knee away from me and put my hand on the floor to lock it into position. I'm on the ball of my foot on the bent leg, the heel of my front leg, and those toes pull back. So even while I'm talking, if you are in the stretch, you are still stretching. So keep listening to me as I talk. So from that position, I can now no longer feel the stretch, the, the sensation that we get, which we associate with pain, but it's not pain. If it's pain, then you're doing too much. You need to ease off a little bit. But that sensation that we feel has now gone. So to increase it again, look, I push that leg away from me. Whilst keeping that leg in place, with my elbow, and now I can feel it again. I can start to feel that the stretch is engaged and it's working. Five more seconds, four, and three, and two, and one. Watch what I do, hands on the floor, walk over to the other side, reset up, and if you've done it properly, you should be in the same position as before. And from this position, remember, ball of the foot, back foot, heel, toes pointed back, don't let that foot go sloppy, it's a kickboxing class, remember, not a dance class. And from this position, make sure that knee is pushed away from you. Slide that straight leg out further if you can't feel the stretch. And using a combination of pushing with your elbow, sliding with your foot, try and maintain tension all the time. Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, from here though, we're gonna come up. Over, both feet flat on the floor. Switch position, exactly the same as before, but look, both of my feet now flat. 
sink down low, hand on the floor to stabilize, elbow into the knee, and I'm gonna use that just to push and adjust the tensions. If I still can't feel anything, I slide that leg further away here. And hold it, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Come back up, over to the other side, sink yourself down again, and hold it, five more seconds, and five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up, leave the feet where they are. We're gonna cross our arms over, drop ourselves down, and try and get our elbows to touch the floor this way here. And we're just gonna hold it, 10 seconds. This is the warm up for the next stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. From this position, we're gonna grab our ankles. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can all see. Grab our ankles, and I'm gonna try and pull my head through. I'm gonna do it five times. So, each time you pull, go a little bit deeper. First one, not so deep. So hold it, and relax, good. Little bit deeper, pull down for two, and hold it, and relax, good. Now we're starting to feel the, get, the legs getting warmer, so we go deeper for three, and relax, and deeper for four, and relax, and last one, as far as you can go, and deeper, hold it, hold it, hold it, and relax, good, from that position, just reach across to your right side, grab your right leg with your right hand, your right foot with your left hand, and we're going to pull our head and chest down to our leg, so from this position, look at your knee, keep the neck straight, and pull down for one, and hold it, and relax, pull down for two, and hold it, and relax, pull down for three, and hold it, and relax, pull down for four, hold it, and relax, and pull down for five, and hold it, and relax, take it over to the left side, your left hand grabs your left leg, your right hand grabs your left foot, I'm going to pull the chest down again, so one, hold it, and relax, and two, Hold it, and relax, and three, hold it, and relax, and four, hold it, and relax, and five, hold it, and relax. Back to the center, place your hands on the floor, and support your body weight with your hands, and as you do look, I'm just slide my feet out a little bit wider. Taking full control, over that, that gradual increase with my hands, so you don't fall. And at this point, it's important that we make sure that our hips, knees, and ankles are all straight. So if you imagine there's a line running straight along my body, my heels, my knees, and my hips should be on that line. Okay, from this position, we're gonna step forward with the hands. I'm gonna bring my hips in front of that imaginary line and bring my chest to the floor. I'm gonna stay low and push backwards. And as I push backwards, look, I'm gonna come up onto my heels. My hands support me so I don't fall backwards. And my hips are now behind my ankles, behind that imaginary line. Okay, I'm gonna do this twice more. So step forwards with the hands. Chest to the floor, push yourself backwards, keep going up onto the heels, hips behind the ankles, and your toes pointing up and tight. Don't even go floppy, pull them back here. Okay, last one, forwards, chest to the floor, push backwards, stay low, and come back up. And if you can, gently take a seat. If you're if you're too high, if you're up here, you can do it with care luck this way, or just stand up and sit back down again. Whatever you need to do, once you've got yourself in this position, get yourself back into the stretch. So, like with the previous videos, you need to 
have an imaginary line or an actual line. I have these jigsaw matted lines here. So I'm going to put a heel and a heel on the same line. And I now know the distance between that line and my groin is the distance between me and the split. So from this position, I'm going to close the gap. I'm going to put one hand behind, one hand in front. I'm going to push, I'm going to lift up first and push myself forwards. And as I do, my legs go out. I don't move forwards if you're doing it properly. So I'm going to show you that sideways, just so you understand the movement. So my feet are in this position. Look. As I lift up, I push with this hand towards my front hand here, and I sit back down again. And can you see how my, my legs go out and increase the stretch as opposed to my body moves forward? Watch again. So I lift up, push forwards, and sit. And from this position, we're going to put our hands right up against our bum here. And this locks us into place. So as I'm talking, if you're stretching, then you're still benefiting. I know I tend to waffle a lot. But from here, look. And it stops me from sliding backwards. And we're going to do what we were told to do as kids, and we're going to sit up straight here. So my hips go forwards. My shoulders go back and my chest goes up. And straight away, I feel that tension engaged. And we're going to hold it for 10 more seconds, so 10, and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, watch again, one hand in front, one hand goes behind, I lift myself up, I push myself forwards, and I sit myself down again, as soon as you've done that, lock yourself into place, otherwise you're going to slide back, Make sure your toes are pulled back nice and tight and your legs are flat on the floor. I'm going to hold it for 10 seconds. Keep going. I'm just going to change positions. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One last one. Lift up, slide forwards, and sit back down again. Take your time, guys. Just do it at your own pace. But look couple of things to be conscious of when you stretch. Tension is, your, is our friend. Pull those toes back. Don't let those toes go floppy. Straight away by doing that, I feel that tension release. So toes pulled back. Legs flat. Lots of time in class I see people stretching like this here. Those legs need to be flat on the floor. If you can't get your legs flat on the floor, you need to touch your toes more, work the hamstrings more, and that will relax and loosen off those hamstrings. And we're gonna hold that position, five more seconds, four, and three, and two, and one, good. From this position, walk your hands back, that'll release the tension, and then without using your hands lock, just bring the legs in to this position. If you can, if you can't, use your hands. Okay, good, last one then, feet together. We're gonna to grab our feet, thumbs on the under, underside, fingers on the top, and we're going to pull our heels in as close as we can. Remember, we don't want to have a lot of gap here. We don't want to see a lot of floor space. We want to bring those heels in as close as we can. This is really important. Elbows land on the thighs. We're going to push down. I'm going to hold it. So let's do it together. So push down for one. Try to get those knees as close as you can to the floor. And relax. So when you do this stretch, it's important you try. Push yourselves. Lots of times with the kids' classes, I see the kids just sitting there not doing anything. You won't get any benefit out of the stretch if you don't push yourself. Second set, push down and hold it and relax. Third set, push down and hold it and relax. Fourth set, push down and hold it and relax. And fifth and final set, push down and hold it and relax. And just bring the legs out. Squeeze them together, give them a wiggle and a wobble. And just very quick look, we've got a lot of great opportunities now to work on our flexibility. We're gonna be spending a lot of time unable to do a lot of things. So here's your challenge. And what I'm gonna challenge you to do is to send me in some photographs of you working this challenge and the progress you make and we'll pop up on social media. But try and do stretching every day if you can. So with a little bit of a warm up, that stretching routine we just did, if you could do that on a daily basis, or even just 
more than you're doing it at the moment, that will make a massive difference to your flexibility. And if you release the, the, the restrictions that we have on our hips and our tendons, it makes kicking so much easier. So if you're sat at home now watching telly or kids playing PlayStation or reading books or whatever it is that you would normally do, sat down in a chair, just sit on the floor and do it and stretch. And just adding that little bit of extra stretching in on a regular basis will massively improve your flexibility, which in turn will make your kicking easier. So when we eventually get back to classes, we're gonna be blown away by your newfound kicking skills. Get yourself a drink of water. Okay, so we're gonna start our main bulk of the train now, guys. So listen carefully, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stick on a, an audio track, a training track that I created for myself, which I'm gonna share with you now. And in that track, it's nine rounds with a minute in between. Now, unlike any previous ones, the minute is what we call active rest. So it means that you're still gonna be exercising, but we're gonna be doing a low intensity exercise. Um, the first round is hands only, the second round is legs only, and the third round is hands and legs. And there are nine rounds in total. Try and stay in for all nine rounds if you can, but it's gonna be super tough. If you wanna set yourself a challenge because you're new to this, go for the first three rounds. And if you can do the first three, try and stay in for an extra round for as long as you can, dropping out when you need to. If it's too much and it's a fast paced track, do one, miss one, or do what you can. Try and keep up with it though. So advanced guys, if you're listening, if you're watching this, then try and keep it with all the combinations I call. Um, nothing that we do is things that we haven't done within a kickboxing class. Some of you might not have seen techniques, in which case, just watch what I do. And um, occasions I call numbers. I call a number one, a two, and a three, and a four. You can assign those numbers to any technique that you want. What I'm gonna do as we do it, as I call one, and I'm on the hands, I'm just gonna do a jab. As I call two, I'm gonna do a jab and a cross. As I call three, I'm gonna do a jab, a cross, and a hook. And four, jab, cross, hook, and an uppercut. When it comes to kicking, I'm gonna do one is a lead leg front kick. Two is gonna be a lead leg round kick. Three is gonna be a lead leg side kick. And four, for now, is gonna be a lead leg axe kick. I might change that to a spinning hook kick as we progress through the training. And when it's hands and legs, one is gonna be a jab and a front kick. Two, jab cross, round kick. Three, jab cross, hook, and a side kick. And four, jab cross, hook, uppercut, and an axe kick. And those are the combinations. And all you wanna do is assign those numbers to any combination that you want, if it's easier, just do what I'm doing, and then we'll just follow ourselves through that way. Okay, guys, are you ready? 10 seconds left. Okay, 10 so seconds. Yourself ready. Put your gloves on, and we'll start in five. Don't worry about gloves. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. One. One. Three. Cross, hook, cross. Hook, cross, hook. Four. Four. Two and three. Cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, double hook, double uppercut. Two. Two. Give me five times jab, cross. Uppercut, hook, uppercut. Four. Four. Four and a two. Double jab. Lead body hook. Lead body hook and a cross bar. Lead body hook and a cross and a hook and a cross. Three. Three and four. One. 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 One minute left. One and three. Jab cross, double hook, double uppercut. Give me five times jab cross with power. Give me five times rear uppercut with power. 30 seconds left. Two. 
Whoosh, two. Whoosh, whoosh, one. Whoosh, one. Whoosh, one. Whoosh, three. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Cross punch. Whoosh. Cross punch again with power. Whoosh. Cross and a lead hook. Whoosh, whoosh. Cross and a lead hook again. Whoosh, whoosh. Hook and across. Whoosh, whoosh. Hook and across and a rear uppercut. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Four. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And time. Good. Okay, from there I want you to drop down into a plank position. We're going to hold the plank position for a count of one minute. I'll give you the time. So get ready. Down you go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Let's hold it for one minute. It's good, guys. Try and relax as much as possible. Don't tense the legs. You should feel it on the abs, nowhere else on the body. That's 10 seconds gone. So relax, control your breathing. 20 seconds gone. That's 30 seconds, we're halfway. As soon as we finish this, you can get back up and get ready for second round, which is gonna be legs only. So you don't need your gloves for this. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay, in five seconds, you're gonna get back up and start legs only. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get back up. Let's go, ready. Two. Whoosh. Two. Whoosh. Double round kick, body head. Whoosh, whoosh. Double round kick, body head again. Whoosh, whoosh. One. Whoosh. One and two. Whoosh, whoosh. Four. Whoosh. Give me five lead round kicks to the body of the power. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Five times rear round kick to the body of the power. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Three. Whoosh. Give me a two and a four. Whoosh, whoosh. Hook kick. Whoosh. Spinning back kick. Whoosh. Side kick, spinning back whoosh. kick. Whoosh. One. Whoosh. One and four. Whoosh. Whoosh. Three. Three. Whoosh. Whoosh. Give me a side kick and a hook kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. One minute left. Rear front kick and three lead round kicks to the body with whoosh. power. Whoosh. Whoosh. Four. Whoosh. Spinning hook kick. Whoosh. Round kick and a spinning hook kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. Hook kick and a round kick with power. Whoosh. Whoosh. And again, hook kick. Back leg round whoosh. kick with power. Whoosh. One and a two and a three. Whoosh. Whoosh. And again. Thirty whoosh. seconds left. Whoosh. Give me a two and a three. Whoosh. Whoosh. Spinning back kick and a two. Whoosh. Whoosh. Hook kick. Whoosh. Rear round kick to the body. Whoosh. Rear front kick and five lead round kicks to the whoosh. body. Whoosh. 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 One. Whoosh. Two. Whoosh. Two. Whoosh. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh. Four. Whoosh. Spinning back kick. Whoosh. And time. Grab some water, guys. Quick. Okay. One minute rest. Whilst we rest, we're going to hold a squat position. You've got five seconds to get yourself into position. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to hold it for one minute. The squat position, for you karate guys, you'll know it as the horse riding stance. For you taekwondo guys, you'll know it as a sitting stance. It's going to hold a squat position for the duration of the minute. 15 seconds gone already. Key thing is, is to make sure your thighs are parallel to the floor. So if you put a broom on your legs, it shouldn't roll off either way. It's 25 seconds gone. Make sure you keep your back straight. Don't lean forwards. Try to avoid temptation to rest the elbows on the knees and relax as much as possible. To make it a little harder, then bring your arms up above your head. If you find that too hard, then just bring them forwards as a counterbalance. We've got 15 seconds left. Last 10 seconds, keep going. 
The next round is hands and legs, so I'm going to count you down and get back up, put your gloves back on, and get ready to start the next round in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get ready to go. Third round. Okay, guys, good luck. Four. Four. Side kick, spin, back kick. Side kick, spin, back kick, and lead hook kick. Two. Two. Push kick and a round kick. Try and keep your legs off the floor when you do this. Hook kick, round kick. Three. One. One. Four. Three seconds gone. Double round kick, body head. And again, double round kick, body head. Give me five rear round kicks with power. Push, 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 push. Kick. Push. Spinning hook kick. Push. One minute left. Round kick and a spinning hook kick. Push, push. Side kick. Push. Side kick and a hook kick. Push, push. Cross and a hook. Push, push. And again, cross hook. Push, push. Jab cross. Whoosh, whoosh. Jab cross round kick. Whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh. Jab cross round kick. Whoosh, whoosh. 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 Cross, a rear front kick and a lead whoosh. whipping punch. Whoosh. Ah. Whoosh. 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 Cross whoosh. hook cross. Whoosh. 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 Left. Double hook. Ah, and whoosh. again, whoosh. double hook. Body head or head head whoosh. doesn't matter. Whoosh. Four. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Side kick and whoosh. axe kick. 20 seconds whoosh. left. Whoosh. Axe kick. Whoosh. Axe kick and a cross and a hook. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. Give me a lead front kick and a jab cross. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. Jab cross and a lead front whoosh. kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. Spinning back kick. If whoosh. you do them, you can add a jump in. And again, spinning back kick. Whoosh. And time. Ah. Drink, guys! Okay, this time we've got a minute rest. You're going to hold a half push-up for the duration of a minute. So I'm counting down three seconds. You're going to hold the push-up. Three, two, one. Let's go. One minute. So hold this push-up in a half push-up position. And make sure your arms are half bent. Support your whole body with just the toes and your arms. That's ten seconds gone. Try and relax as much as possible. Be careful of tensing the legs, that'll tire you out quicker. 20 seconds left. Just relax, focus, and concentrate. So 30 seconds left. After this, we're going to get back up. If you've taken your gloves off, we're going to put the gloves back on again for hands only. This is your fourth round coming up. You've got 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Last 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Get back up as quick as you can. Put your gloves on if you're taking them off. How are we doing, guys? Seconds. Five seconds. Four, Fourth round. Three, two, one. Let's go. Four. Four. Two. 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 Two and a double hook, whoosh, left right. Whoosh. Two and a double hook and whoosh, a double whoosh, upper whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. One. Whoosh, one. Whoosh, one. Whoosh. one. Whoosh. Give me a one and a two. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Two and a three. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Lead body hook. Whoosh. Lead body hook and whoosh. a cross punch. Whoosh. Cross hook, cross. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hook, cross hook. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Four. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Give me a four, followed by a hook cross. Whoosh, hook. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Hook to the body, hook to the head. Whoosh, whoosh. Three. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Uppercut, hook cross. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And again. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. One minute left. One. Whoosh, one. Whoosh. Two. Whoosh, whoosh. Two and a hook and a cross and a hook. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. whoosh. Give me a cross and a body hook. Ice. With whoosh. power. And again, cross whoosh, body hook whoosh. and a head hook. Whoosh. And again, cross body hook and a head hook. Whoosh. 
Whoosh, whoosh, four. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Jab, lead hook. Whoosh, same hand whoosh. punches. And again, jab, lead hook. Whoosh, whoosh. Give me a jab, a lead hook, and a rear whoosh. upper. Whoosh, whoosh. You've got 30 seconds left. Cross punch. Hush. And again with power. Cross whoosh. Punch. Give me a cross and a double hook body. Whoosh, head. whoosh, whoosh. Three. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Three. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. 15 seconds left. Rear hook, body head. Hush. Whoosh. Again, rear hook, body head. Whoosh, whoosh. Jab, cross, double hook, double uppercut. Whoosh, whoosh, Last whoosh, 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 whoosh. Jab, cross, double whoosh, hook, whoosh, double whoosh, uppercut. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Two. Whoosh, whoosh. Two. Whoosh, whoosh. Give me five jab, cross with power to finish. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Okay, we've got a minute ah, rest. This time I'm going to guys. into a leg raise position. So you're going to lay flat on your back, bring your legs six inches off the floor, hands out to the side, and hold it for a minute. Let's get into position. You've got three seconds, two, one, and let's go. One minute to hold it. If you find this extremely tough, then you can put your hands under your body. It does make the exercise a lot easier. So ideally, try and put the hands out to the side so your legs are held purely by the lower abdominal muscle. That's 15 seconds gone. So unlike the plank, this one works the lower abs. Plank tends to work more upper abs. So we'll work both abs. 25 seconds gone. Last 30 seconds, we're over halfway. Next round, we're back to legs only. So I'll count you down five seconds. We get back up. You don't need your gloves on. If you've still got them on, then you can keep them on. Alternatively, you can take them off now. It's legs only for the next round. You've got 10 seconds left. In five seconds, you're going to get back up, and we'll start the next round. In five, four, three, two, one. So jump up if you can. Let's go. Three. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh. Three and a four. Whoosh. Whoosh. Give me a double round kick, body head. Whoosh, whoosh. And again, double round kick, body head. Whoosh, whoosh. One. Whoosh. One. Whoosh. Give me one and a two. Whoosh. Whoosh. Give me one and a four. Whoosh. Whoosh. Give me one and a four and a two. Whoosh. 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 Two and a spinning hook kick. Whoosh. 30 seconds whoosh. gone. Give me five round kicks to the body. Any whoosh. 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 Rear front kick. Whoosh. Give me a rear front kick and a two. Whoosh. Whoosh. Four. Whoosh. Give me a spinning back kick. Whoosh. If you want with these kicks and you can do them, then you can add a jump as well. Give me a side kick and a spinning back Whoosh. kick. Jump if you want. Whoosh. One minute left. Spinning back kick and a two. Whoosh. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh. One. Whoosh, one and a two. Whoosh, whoosh, hook kick. Whoosh, so you use your lead leg. And again, hook kick. Whoosh, give me a hook kick and a round kick. Whoosh, whoosh. You do this one if you can, try and keep the leg off the floor. And again, hook kick, round kick. Whoosh, whoosh. Give me an axe kick and a side kick. Whoosh, whoosh. 30 seconds left. Two. Whoosh, two. Whoosh, any leg, five round kicks to the body. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. One. Whoosh, two. Whoosh, spinning back kick. Jump if you can. Ten seconds left. Give me a two and a spinning hook kick. Whoosh, whoosh. Give me a one and a two and a three. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Jumping round kick to the body. Whoosh. And again, to finish, jumping round kick to the body. Whoosh. And time. Okay, water. Okay, we're over halfway, so you've now got a full minute rest. Take advantage of it. This is your opportunity to get a bit of water, tell yourselves down, shake your arms, get rid of that lactic acid, shake your legs. If you're feeling totally fresh, you can now do 15 tub jumps. That Go should on. do it. Otherwise, that's 20 seconds gone. Just keep moving around, don't sit down. Just keep moving around, shake those arms out. Everyone okay? okay? 30 seconds. Next round is round number six. 
Hands and legs next, guys. 20 seconds left. Good, eh? So you should be looking at hands and legs for the next round. So if you haven't, then pop your gloves back on again. We've got 10 seconds, get ready. You don't need gloves. Down for five seconds. Only if you hit the bag. Four. Or pads. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Four. Four. Give me a cross and a hook and a side kick. Give me a cross and a double hook. One. One. Two. Two and a cross punch. Give me a cross, hook, front kick. Round kick. Round kick and a hook kick. Round kick and a hook kick and a side kick. Jab, cross, front kick. Three. Jab, cross, rear front kick. Jab, cross, rear round kick. Jab, cross, rear round kick. Lead front kick. Lead front kick, jab, cross. One minute left. Two. Two and a rear round kick to the body. And you a rear round kick to the body again. Give me a front kick and a jab cross hook. Lead front kick, jab cross hook. Jab cross hook. Four. Four. Axe kick. Thirty seconds left. Axe kick and a round kick. Give me a spinning hook kick. Whoosh. Jumping round kick to the body. Whoosh. When you jump, use a pop up style jump for this one. And again, jumping round kick to the body. Any leg you want. Four. Whoosh. 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 One. Whoosh. Ten Whoosh. seconds left. Whoosh. One. Whoosh. Whoosh. Two. Whoosh. Whoosh. And a spinning back kick to finish. Whoosh. Ah. Okay, that was round six. Grab some water. Have rest. We're going to drop down into the plank position in five seconds. So get ready in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, you've got one minute. So try and relax as much as possible. The only area that you should feel tensing is the abdominal region. Try not to tense the legs, otherwise you'll tire quicker. And just relax as much as possible. That's 15 seconds gone already. Focus on your breathing. Just relax and concentrate. Come up to 25 seconds. That's 30 seconds, so we're halfway. Next round is hands only. So if you're taking your gloves off, you need to get them back on again while I count you down. We'll start the next round in 20 seconds. 15 seconds left. Okay, last 10 seconds. I'll count you down from five seconds as I do. Get back up, get those gloves on, and we'll make a start. That's five, four, three, two, one. Okay, jump up, put your gloves on. Let's go. Okay, round seven. Cross or cross? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Foot cross. Whoosh, whoosh. Cross bunch with power. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. One. Whoosh. One and a two. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. Cross and a rear uppercut. Whoosh, whoosh. Two. Whoosh, whoosh. Two. Whoosh, whoosh. Three. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Three. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Four. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Give me a jab cross and a double hook. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Three seconds gone. Give me a jab cross, double hook and a double uppercut. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And again, jab cross, whoosh, double whoosh, hook, double whoosh, uppercut. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Cross hook cross. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hook cross hook. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Body hook. Whoosh. Give me a lead body hook. Whoosh. And again, lead body hook. Whoosh. Give me a body hook and a cross punch. Whoosh. With the cross. Whoosh. One minute gone. Give me five times a jab and a cross. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Jab and a rear uppercut. Whoosh, whoosh. Jab and a rear uppercut and a lead hook. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Double hook. Whoosh, whoosh. 
Lead and rear double hook to the body. Whoosh. So Lunge. Make sure you use your Whoosh. body mechanics to get to Whoosh. both sides. Whoosh. And again, lead and rear double hook to the Whoosh. body. Whoosh. And Whoosh. again with a lead uppercut on the end. Whoosh. 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 One. Whoosh. One. Whoosh. Whoosh. One. Whoosh. Whoosh. Double jab. Whoosh. Whoosh. Cross hook uppercut. Whoosh. 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 Three. Whoosh. 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 Fifteen Whoosh. seconds left. Cross and a body hook. Whoosh. Ice. Cross and a body hook and a head hook. Whoosh. 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 Four. Whoosh. 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 Four. Whoosh. 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 And Whoosh. time. Good guy. Get some water. Okay, you've got one minute rest. We're going to work a squat position for a minute. So as before, in five seconds, I want you to get into position. I'm going to hold it for one minute. So that's five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. One minute. So make sure you keep your legs parallel to the floor as before. Don't forget, if we put a broom on the legs, it shouldn't roll either way. Keep the back straight. Be careful of leaning too far forwards, which is the temptation. Certainly keep those elbows off the knees. If you want to make this harder, then reach above your head, hold the hands above the head. Otherwise, you might want to bring them forwards to counterbalance. That's 30 seconds gone, so we're over halfway. Next round is legs only. So if you're taking your gloves off, you don't need the gloves for the next round. And I'll count you down. And we're done. You've got 15 seconds left. Last 10 seconds. Get ready. And in five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Let's go. Okay, guys. Three. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh. Two and three. Whoosh. Whoosh. Round kick, hook kick. Whoosh, whoosh. Round kick, hook kick, round kick. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Give me a round kick, hook kick, round kick, and a rear whoosh, leg front kick. Whoosh, whoosh. Four. <sighs> whoosh. Four. <sighs> whoosh. Four and a two. <sighs> whoosh, whoosh. Give me five round kicks to the body with power. <sighs> whoosh, 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 whoosh. Spinning hook kick. <sighs> whoosh. Spinning hook kick and a lead round kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh. Three and a hook kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. Three and a hook kick and a round kick. Whoosh. 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 One. Whoosh. One and four. Whoosh. Four. One minute left. One and a two and a three. Whoosh. 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 Rear front kick and a lead round kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. Rear front kick and a lead round kick again. Whoosh. Whoosh. Spinning back kick. Don't forget Whoosh. you can jump if you can do this. Spinning back kick again. Whoosh. Give me a side kick and a spinning back kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. Four. Whoosh. Jumping round kick. Whoosh. Rear front kick and three round kicks Whoosh. to the body. 30 seconds left. Whoosh. Whoosh. Two. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh. Lead leg hook kick. Whoosh. Hook kick and a round kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. And again, hook kick and a round kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. Get your leg off the floor if you can. Double round kick, body head. Five whoosh. seconds whoosh. left. Double round kick, body head, and a side whoosh. kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. And time. Good guys, water. Huh. Okay, you've got one minute rest. So this time we're going to drop back down to the push-up position and we're going to hold the half push-up for a minute. So get yourselves down. If you want to take your gloves off, now's the time. Get ready to go in five seconds. And four, three, two, one. Let's go, one minute. It's five seconds gone. 10 seconds, so relax those legs. Be careful of tensing the legs, that'll tie you out quicker. And make sure in a half push-up position, your whole body being supported by the arms and the balls of your feet. And make this a bit harder, then cross your right foot over your left. So you're just balancing on one foot, and we're halfway there. So 
20 seconds left. Next round, we're going to work hands and legs. So I'll give you 10 seconds to get back up, get those gloves back on again if you've taken them off. And then we'll start the next round. 10 seconds left. It's five seconds, four, three, two, and ah. one. Get back up. You've got ah. ten seconds to get those gloves back on before we start the next round. Last round, guys. Get ready. Okay, let's do it. And three, two, one. Let's go. Two. Two. Cross and a hook. Cross and a hook and a side kick. Four. One and an axe kick. Whoosh, whoosh. Rear round kick to the body. Ah, whoosh. Give me five jab cross with power. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Jab, jab, whoosh, whoosh. jab cross. Whoosh, whoosh. Two. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Give me two and a cross and a hook and a cross. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Jab cross hook and an axe kick. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ah, whoosh. Jab cross hook and a hooking kick. Whoosh, whoosh. Jab cross hook and a spinning back kick. Remember to jump on the back kick if you can do it. And again, jab cross hook and a spinning back kick. You've got one minute left. Round kick. Double round kick to the body. Hook it round kick, leg off the floor. And again, keep that leg off the floor. Hook it round kick. Three. Three and a hooking kick. Cross or cross. Cross or cross. Three hooking punches all to the head. And again, three hooking punches to the head. Body hook, head hook. Four. One. One. Three front kick and three round kick. Give me a jab and a cross and three round kicks to the body with power. Whoosh, 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 round whoosh, kick. Whoosh, 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 back kick. Whoosh, axe kick. Whoosh, axe kick, whoosh, side kick. Whoosh, side kick, whoosh, spinning back kick. Whoosh, 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 time. Ah! Get some water! Okay, and this is the final recipe here before we finish the last set. So as before, we're going to drop down and do leg raises to finish. So get into position in five seconds and four. Three, two, one, and one minute. Okay, as before, try and place the hands out at the side. If you find this really tough, then you can place them underneath the body, but it does make the drill a lot easier. Try and keep those feet six inches off the floor at all times. Keep the legs slightly bent, and try not to tense them. That's 20 seconds gone. But the last round coming up, we're going to do hands and legs again for the final round. So if you have taken those gloves off, I'll give you a countdown, get them back on again, and we'll make a start. We've got 30 seconds left of this drill though to finish. 25 seconds. 20 seconds. 15. 10 seconds. So see the drill out, I'll count you down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Get ready, we're gonna start in five seconds. Last round! Last round, hands and legs. Three, two, one, let's go. Four. Four. One and two. Cross hook. Cross hook. Rear front kick, lead round whoosh, kick. Whoosh. Give me three round kicks to the body with power. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Side kick. Whoosh. Hook kick. Whoosh. Three. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Three whoosh. and a hooking kick at the end. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh. Spin back kick. Whoosh. Remember you can do these with jump if you can do them. Spin back kick and a round kick. Whoosh. Whoosh. Cross hook round kick. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Cross hook side kick. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Axe kick. Whoosh. Axe kick and a cross punch. Whoosh, whoosh. Axe kick and a cross and a hook. Whoosh, 
Yish, yish. Ground kick. Yish. One minute left. Two. Yish, yish. Two. Yish. Yish, yish. Cross punch. Yish. Power. Yish. And again, cross punch. Power. Yish. Give me five lead hooking punches to the head. Yish. 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 Front kick. Yish. Front kick. Yish. Four. Yish. 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 Spinning hook kick. Yish. Whoosh, spinning hook kick and a jab. Whoosh, whoosh. Jab cross hook and a hook kick. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Rear front kick and a jumping round whoosh. kick. Whoosh, axe kick. Whoosh, axe kick. Whoosh, four. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Fifteen whoosh. seconds left. Whoosh, four. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Give me five whoosh. lead round kicks to the body. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Give me five rear round kicks to the body to finish. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Ah! God, good. Get some water. Okay, catch your breath, everyone. A few minutes. Great session, guys. Ah! If you stayed in for 10 rounds, I only remember it being nine. That's how long it's been since I last did it. <laughs> but good. Good workout. Okay, good to train you all. Okay, so, 10 more seconds and back out. We'll finish off with a little stretch out, just to make sure we don't ache too much tomorrow. That was a great session, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you stuck through it. Do you know what? Even if you didn't, it doesn't matter. We could keep doing these kind of workouts with us, then your fitness, and your cardio, and your stamina, and your flexibility, and technique, and everything's gonna go through the roof. We're all gonna come back to blaze, even fitter, even stronger at this rate, it's brilliant. Okay, right, find yourself space. <laughs> Obviously, legs, just slowly widen the shoulder width. Take your arm across the body. Curl it in, keep that arm parallel to the floor, don't let it sink, don't let the arms bend, and hold it. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Change arms, other side, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Point to the ceiling, take it down the back, catch it with your other hand, and push it down as far as you can get it. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one, and change. <clears throat> and five seconds more, five, four, three, two, and one. Point to the ceiling. Take it over to the left side. Just be careful when you're dealing with the backs now. No jerky or sudden movements. Hold it, five seconds. And four, three, two, and one. And change, other side. And five, four, three, two, and one. And back to the center. Okay, from that position, we're just gonna drop ourselves down. So if your backs are a bit tight or you've got a bad back look, I'm going to start off with a slightly bent knee, roll over and then just straighten up the legs as you get your position. I'm going to hold it and just relax in the stretch, it's not even a stretch, it's just a hang. Hold that position, five more seconds, four, three, two and one, bend the knees, that takes the pressure off the lower back and then slowly uncurl, back to standing, okay. Hands on your hips, thumbs into the lower back. You're gonna push the hips forwards and you're gonna look at the wall behind you. Keep your mouth open, makes it a bit easier. Also means it's difficult for me to count and do this at the same time, so. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and one, last one, flamingo stretch. This is good for balance as well. Grab your foot, 
Put your feet, your knees together, hand out if you start to wobble or grab something. And then from that position up, we're going to pull the heel up to the bum, push the hips forwards. And we're going to hold it. Five more seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. And then change of the foot. So if I go sideways, you can see. Balance if you need to, or grab hold of the wall, or whatever, and then push the hips forwards. You'll feel the increasing tension on the outer thigh. And hold it, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. And we are done. Guys, grab some more water. If you are sweating profusely like I am, grab a towel as well. That was a great session, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you're going to continuously burn off all those calories now and then quit in turn. That also means you're going to sweat. So make sure you replenish your fluids for the next hour or so. Keep drinking water or an isotonic drink, but nothing else. If you don't have an isotonic drink, the best isotonic drink is if you buy a carton of fruit juice, whatever flavor you like, and then just mix it with half fruit juice and half water. Drink that, it's the cheapest alternative and the healthier alternative to buying expensive isotonic style sports drinks. So, until next time, have a fantastic day or evening and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys, see you next time. Thank you.